Welcome to the Laurel Martin Show. I'm Sam Murray, joined with Stevenson Field Hockey Head Coach Laurel Martin. Two wins last week and an exciting overtime, double overtime win yeah. versus Shenandoah, 3-2. And then you get the 2 nothing win at home versus Goucher. Right. Talk about those games. So the Goucher game was excited because that's turned into, as I mentioned before, quite, quite the rivalry. So I felt like we um, – had possession of the ball the majority of the match and really controlled the tempo of the game, and we put the ball in the net when we needed to. So I was pretty pleased with that game in general. Yeah. And then the Shenandoah game, uh, double overtime. Yeah. Uh, Noelle Martin finds the back of the net. Right. Uh, she gets two game winners this week, past mm -hmm. week. Talk about that game. So that was a, a bit of a challenge. Uh, their field is slow. And our team has a lot of speed and um, fast stick skill. And uh, that kind of uh, changed the momentum flow. Uh, we had to adjust our style of play because of the field. Uh, and field hockey is an unusual sport. Not too many sports run into that scenario. And you're a pool, you're swimming in water, you know. But for field hockey, the surface is huge. And that, that was an adjustment. Um, and it was really hot. And um, they were a physical team, and we had to uh, play really hard. So the fact that we secured the uh, overtime win was was wonderful, much needed. Um, but it was a battle, I can tell you that. It was a battle, so it was a good game. We talk a lot about the, the youth and the, that freshman class, but someone mm -hmm. in the junior class, Sarah McVeigh, scores twice this past week. Right. Sophomore Tanner Ridgely gets a goal. Right. Talk about the, dis like the distribution of, of goal scoring that you have. Yeah, I mean, I think that's huge. If you look at the teams that find a lot of success, especially throughout the years, um, historically strong, uh, they typically don't just have one goal scorer. Uh, there's a kid that usually puts the ball in the net. They have a high score, of course, everyone does. But uh, there's a spread in the points, and um, that's what we're looking to do, and um, that's what we're starting to see. So we have kids coming off the bench that are adding some points. And um, and we have some strong returners, um, and and obviously the youth. So it's 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 exciting. It's good news for the future. Talking about the future, this week on Wednesday yeah. you travel to Rowan, a tough tough matchup. You guys right. nearly beat them on your home field last year. Yes, but they're four and three. But those three losses are all against ranked or teams that are receiving votes. Right, they're very strong, and they just defeated FDU yesterday. And um, FDU, I think, had one loss now, two losses. So um, they're a significant team, and this will be a battle. They're always contenders, normally nationally ranked, just shy, getting some votes, but not in the mix yet. Um, so uh, I anticipate a, a tough battle for us. And then that kind of sets you up for Saturday. First conference game mm -hmm. of the year at Albright. Right. Another team who, two and three, but they've also played a couple teams that are receiving votes. I think York maybe was, was one of them. Mm -hmm. What do you expect or what do you hope from your team as you open conference play? I mean, that's obviously huge. Um, Albright coming into that game is backed into a little bit of a corner because they've had some losses. So they're going to want to start conference play with a win. And, um, and and they have that home court advantage. So uh, we're going to have to be strong. And if we execute our game and the game plan, um, we will find success uh, against a tough conference and a tough opponent. But we're going to have to make sure we, uh, we do the things properly that we plan to do. Well, we wish you best of luck as you're on Thank your four-game you. road trip. Hope to see you back here soon at Mustang Stadium. She's Laura Martin. I'm Sam Murray, and you've been watching The Laura Martin Show.